And in the same vein, I want to talk about one evangelist, one soul winner that has failed to do their work. That has failed to do their work. Not because uh, they don't want to do it, but because they have not come across the word. They have come across the word, but they have not come across the specific word. Is anyone a mother, a wife? If you are a mother, if you are a wife, if you are an expectant, if you are a mother, if you are expecting to be a mother one day, I am talking to you. This next month is a uh, Father's Day, and uh, men will be treated specially. But uh, but uh, with what I'm going to share with you now, with what I'm going to share with you now, it will be even much more special, much more special. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. There are situations that we face a lot of times. This one is a bit controversial, the one that I'm going to share now. There are situations that we face in a lot of homes where we have got a father, a mother, and we have got children in the house. And we have got the mother going into church and the children. And the father does not go to church. Have you ever seen it? Have you ever witnessed it? Huh? And don't think the man is going halfway. No, he does not even want to go there. He, don't, he does not. On a Sunday, he will make sure he is sleeping. He will sleep a deep sleep. And yet you are here. You are just, glory, glory. You are, you are jumping in here. You are jumping in here in church. And the man has been left at home. I'm not, I'm not going to... Uh, 50%, let me say 50%, 50% has been caused by this evangelist, this soul winner in the house that has not been able to produce a resume that can be seen, that can be understood. In a home, it is not about quoting scripture. It is about producing what the scripture has done in you. You see, so we want to quote revelations to your husband. You will not understand it. You want to go and quote the book of Daniel. You will not understand it. You want to talk about the first flight. You will say, go. Because inside him, he says, this woman will never catch that flight. Because of your works, the mother in the house, you special evangelist, you special soul winner. In the house because of your works your husband does not believe that you go to heaven you he say you'll be the last one you will not go so no matter how you say hey you know i think so. the, the men will say <laughs> yeah just go have you ever discovered that there are women that that testify the miracles have happened and they are busy testifying oh we want to thank god and the man is like the men will say yeah, it's a lie. It's not, not for you. As far as I know you, I know you inside and out. Pastor taught us something. He said, God knows the devil better than anyone. Huh? He knows, and I'm not saying this one is the devil. God knows the devil better than anyone. And he gave him a name to be what? A native liar. The devil is a native liar. So it's about knowing. So these two people, they know each other far beyond Beyond what you know. So whatever you say, this man will say, until we have crossed this bridge, I will never celebrate this thing because this is fake. It's not it. These are the men that will even say, in their home, something has happened. They'll say, ah, it's not, I don't think it happened in this home. Have you ever had situations where a pastor visits a home? Pastor Tony visits a home because there is a, a woman that attends in the church here. And the pastor says, let me pay, pay her a special visit. Pastor arrives there. The man will take his head and say, oh, we'll see you. I'm going. He is not even interested in seeing or listening. Why? Because you go to church, you come back in the house the same. You go there to be washed. So this man will be saying, what is he going there to do? When A, B, C, D, E, F, G has remained the same. So this man will say, 
Then you say, he didn't even respect my pastor. Yes, you will not respect your pastor because you have not respected yourself. You have not brought in the glory to say, I went in there, I have been taught, uh, I have been nurtured. Uh, now I am coming uh, as the first soul winner in this home, as the first evangelist in this home. The moment you begin to demonstrate the power in your hands, the power in your mouth, uh, in the proper way that God has given you, all men will come to church. When the pastor is burning, they will all come to see the fire. You are not burning, mama. You are not. Though you are in church Monday to Sunday, if the man still stays in the house, you are not burning. What I'm talking about here, if you search in your home, own home, you will look at it and say, this could have happened in my house. Yes, I told you the other time, I said, we love our mothers, but let's select what to take from them. Because at times we are inheriting even that spirit, the same spirit of not bringing in joy. Whatever they have, they cannot share it in the house. You see, men are resilient. They are very resilient. A man can sit under a tree. He can sit under a tree from morning to sunset with a stick going like this. He can sit there doing nothing. Which means they are not bothered by a lot of things. They are not. They can sit there. A woman cannot sit there for morning to sunset. It's not possible. It's not possible. I bet you it will not happen. But anyway, I am bringing this one to you so that you understand the part where we should be playing. Women, check your resumes. Just like when John said, when John said, go and see, ask him, is he the one? What have we changed about, about ourselves being in the house of the Lord? Have we managed? There is no one too difficult to change. Even if he does not come to church, he will be interested to say, how is Pastor Tony? Oh, greet him for me. He might not come, but he is happy. Inside, inside him, he says, this man has changed this woman. This woman is getting better and better. He's getting gracier and gracier. But what is happening? The moment the woman jumps out of the pulpit, hellfire has entered that home. And the man says, what is this? This is our month of great grace. Let's use this great grace to align ourselves, to position ourselves, so that if rapture comes, your man, your husband will not be ashamed. He'll, say, he'll be the one who say, he says, I will go and you'll be left behind. Because he knows you much better and it can happen. It can happen. Why do, I, why do I, I wanted to read Romans 5. Sorry, time, because of time. Let's go to Romans chapter 5, verse, from verse 1. I was talking too much now. I want to read this one. Therefore, being justified by faith, listen to this, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Catch this woman, we, uh, wives and mothers. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Uh -huh. And patience worketh experience. And experience hope. And hope now, get verse 5. And hope maketh not ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for us. Why did I take us to this scripture? Why did God give us love? Why did he give us love? Okay, Christ came to die for the sinners. He did not come to die for the righteous. The love that we are given, the love that we are taught, is so that we can deal with those that don't have love. You are not, you are not taught to, to practice love to those that know love. It does not work. You are taught to love, to endure those that don't know about love. If you pass that examination of dealing with those that have no love, then you have been able to expediate your love then you, you are taught well. Because demonstrating love to evangelist TK might not prove a point because he knows love. And whatever I do, if I err, he can correct it in the spirit. So it does not work for him. But to someone who does not know love, 
They will say, what manner of love is this? Why would this woman do something like this? Why would this woman speak like this? I'm talking about the one that is speaking in love, the one that is aligned. I'm talking to those that are even going to get married next year, next week, two weeks to come. That's why I said, if you look into the tree, you will discover that there is one soul that has to be one that is seated there. 99% it is because of you. It is because of you. The day you are going to, it does not matter how much you cook, you can go and eat outside. It does not matter how much you iron, it, you will go out and wear something that is not ironed. There is this liquid love that must flow through you in the home so that you can win this soul. And he will say, to that church that you go to, I will follow you. Not when you say, I'd like the wind of glory. He says, go. <laughs> What's happening? They went again this time. They were there last year. Mm, they are there. And when you come, hey, hey, pastor, at least they were to greet abundance. You say, you say, you, you, you close one eye and say, what abundance? There is no abundance in you. For you, there is no abundance. Have you ever brought the word of God into your home and he has celebrated? No, he is not. Until you change, until you say, let this thing die in me. Let me prove who Christ is in me. Then everything in that home will change. Hallelujah. So, this is your opportunity. It does not matter you are in church. Cross-check yourself. Check yourself. Am I walking? Because men, men, there is something that they look at which is different from what you expect. It's very simple stuff. That's what they look at. Very simple. Very simple. That's why I say, carry your revelations to him. He will not change. He, there's nothing that will happen. Carry Daniel, carry uh, uh, Zachary. I to, you, you will laugh. You will say, oh, oh. I pray. I pray for some people at times, even over the phone. At times they say, can you pray us over a video? You'll be praying. The men will be, will be going. Yes, you say, pray, pray. We are used to this thing. This woman goes out every morning and comes back. Yes, there is nothing. No, just pray. At times they will say, can you join us? They say, no, no, not me, not me, not me. That's why they will say, Christianity, ah, these people lie to each other. Some of these are coming from these, our, our beautiful evangelists and beautiful soul winners. It's coming from them. They are failing to demonstrate the great grace that they should do. Did we get each other there? I, I hope I have not, uh, uh, <laughs> I have not taken you out of, but because of time, I will not go further. But, like I said, the love that you are given is for you to be able to deal with the difficult situations. You cannot manufacture a very big gun to go and kill a very small red. No. It's not, it doesn't work. It's waste. This is great grace. It's great grace. Use it. It will change a lot in your home. It will change a lot in your life. When you are still a lady, you say, when I walk in, uh, someone asked pastor a question to say, pastor, why is it after a few days, after what, what? These are some of the things. Because, because of time, I won't go there. Because these are demons, levels of demons. They are demons that deal with you when you are still brother and sister out there. Oh, I cannot sleep. Hey, you. Hey, 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 hey. The day you say, the two are one. The, the, the bigger demons of two hour, two hour one will come in. It will say, we are here. It say, you youngsters go now. We are going to deal with these people. We are going to teach them. We are going to teach them now. Then there is one there that will be dealt with first. One, one, one. That's why you must safeguard it. Be careful. Look at yourself and say, this thing, I have to produce this liquid love. It has to flow in this home. I need to check everything to find if it's in place. What should I do to be a better wife? What should I do to be a better woman in this home? Every day check yourself. What should I do to be a better one? The moment you do that, this church will be filled to the brim. Praise the Lord. Because you won't even win your soul in your house only. But they'll begin to say, oh, come and see what's happening in my home. Come and see. They will come and say, let's follow them there. Let's follow them there. Before we know it, we have covered the whole earth. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the 